The Plant Materials dialog allows you to manage the materials used in your plan. To view this dialog, go up to 3D, Materials, Plan Materials. When a material is used by an object in the default settings, or was previously applied to an object in the plan, or is currently applied to an object in the plan, a copy of the material is created and saved in this Plan Materials dialog. This allows you to manage and edit materials in your current plan without modifying them for future plans. Here you can see the material name, whether the material is in use, and a 3D preview of what that material looks like. You can edit existing materials so that they appear differently, and again, this edit button only modifies the material in the current plan and does not impact how they appear in the library browser or future plans. Alternatively, you could have used the Adjust Material Definition tool to adjust materials in the current plan. You can also create new materials, create a copy of a material and edit its properties, or purge the plan materials so that any unused materials are deleted from the plan materials list, which can potentially reduce the plan file size. You can also delete materials or merge materials by holding control on the keyboard and selecting multiple materials and then selecting the merge button. When merging materials, the material that is listed first in this list is retained and all other materials in the selection are deleted. Any instances of the deleted materials in the plan are replaced by the material listed first in your selection. So during the merge, if you want a material other than the first material in the list to be retained and used, make sure to rename the desired material so that it appears first in your selection. You can also add a material to your user library to use in future plans, or replace the material anywhere it is used in the defaults or located in the plan with the new material from the library browser. One use case when you may use the plan materials feature is you may be editing an object and want to ensure it uses the exact same material that is already in use in the plan. You can do this with the material eyedropper tool. However, there are cases where it is easier to select materials through a dialog such as if you are already in a dialog editing other aspects of the object or if the material is located far away in the plan. Let's cancel out of this and take a look at a simple example. Here we have a kitchen with an island and the island has a custom countertop and we want the island countertop material to match the countertop in a bathroom and the bathroom is located on a different floor in the plan. I can select the countertop and then in the bottom left hand corner click on the open object specification and then I'm going to go down to the materials panel and then I'm going to click on the custom countertop and on the right click on select material. This opens up a dialog where if you look on the left there's an option that says library materials where you can see the current material that we have selected or select a new material from the library browser. But under library materials, there's an option that says plan materials where I can go through and make sure I'm selecting the same countertop material that's used in the bathroom. And then click on OK. And you can see how that looks in our 3D preview. And then click OK one more time. And there we have that material that's located on the opposite side of the plan applied to our custom countertop. Another way the plan materials feature can come in handy is when evaluating material options. You may be leisurely evaluating the material options by going through the library browser and casually selecting a material and applying it to the plan. Each time you do this, a copy of the material is added to the plan materials dialog, even if you don't currently have the material present in your plan. You may be doing this for a lot of materials and realize that you may want to take another look at a material you applied several clicks back or even the day before. Since a copy of any materials that were at one point in the plan are added to the plan materials dialog, you can find a previously added material. Let's take a look at a simple example of this. Let's say the day before I was looking at different flooring materials and I saw a wood flooring material that was a contender but I didn't want to use it at a time. And now I want to use it, but I can't remember where the material is located in the library browser. Because a copy of the material was added to the plan materials, I can easily find a copy of the material and use it. So I'm going to go up to 3D, Materials, Plan Materials. And what I'm next going to do is filter it by whether it's in use or not. 
And then I'm just going to scroll down to my unused materials, find the material, go on add to library, which will add it to our user catalog. And then I can cancel out of the plan materials and then make sure I have the material selected and then change our scoping mode to how we want it. In this case, plan wide, and then click to apply the material to the plan.